Hello there, this is Battleborn again. In this video, I'm going to try to answer the question, why do narcissists gaslight? And uh, I got this question on the video I made and where I tried to answer the question, why do so many people call narcissists demonic? And since the question was asked in that comment section, I'm going to try to give you an answer from the same angle when we're talking about demons. So why would demons gaslight humans? Uh, you see, demons do not want humans to succeed. They don't want humans any good. They want humans gone. And, you know, demons are given certain... Um, they're given certain rules. They cannot just do whatever they want to do. And, and gaslighting is, is, is abuse, which is very, very difficult to explain. Like I said in that video as well, it's difficult to explain to people that haven't experienced it. But you see, gaslighting is, is a war on reality. It is a war on truth. And it's a war on your mind. So when you understand all of those things, that this is actually a war that is waged upon you then it is easier to understand the motivation the motivation is of course then if it is a war waged on you then it is your destruction that is why they do it so then again it becomes hard to understand why would a human being have that um, need to do that to you but I think a lot of people they forget when we talk about narcissists and their abuse and especially when it comes to gaslighting, because gaslighting is such a, um, a personal way to destroy a person. Uh, you see, not all forms of gaslighting will work on the same person. So what the narcissist is actually doing in these cases is that they try and fail a lot of times. But you don't recognize that because you don't recognize when they fail. But narcissists always try to seek out something that you are not really 100% sure of. Something that you might, you know, you don't necessarily uh, have that much confidence in a certain area or something like that. And narcissists actually gaslight you very often. It's just that when it doesn't work, you don't necessarily recognize it. But when it works, you start to feel it. And you start to feel it like a, this creeping sensation of not trusting yourself anymore, not knowing what is real anymore. Um, basically making you dependent on them or this person to do the most basic things in your life. That is where they want to keep you because then you are a constant supply to the narcissist. So... It's not that they just gaslight you, they, they actually try and fail. They, they, they see and they seek out what is your vulnerabilities, uh, where does things hit you. And they become rather confused and I've seen narcissists become angry that their attempts fail, that they, they, they try to hurt you but when they see that if you're able to laugh it off, if you're able to... Um, you know, to walk away from them, uh, to not, you know, basically be abused or that the, the abuse doesn't hit you as they intended it to do, they become frustrated and they become angry. So this tells you how deep-seated this need for these people are to destroy you. And, 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 and it's like they need this constant fix, this, this almost like an addict that they need this feeling, the sensation that they were able to destroy you, that they were able to hurt you, that they can know within themselves that they were able to hurt you, which is a very strange thing to think about. Why would a person do that? But it speaks of the narcissist's emptiness, like you have to be extremely empty to feel any kind of joy, any kind of joy from hurting another human being. And narcissists do this to everyone. Like they, they can do this to their children, to their you know spouses. They're not just doing this 
Um, cause a lot of times when I, I, I hear about gaslighting and stuff like this, um, it's, it's people talking about this when the narcissist wants to get something, when the narcissist wants to, uh, either get a promotion or that they, uh, want a better job or something like that. But that's not the case. Narcissists do this in pretty much every single, um, human relationship they have on a close basis. Like if they are in a close relationship with someone, they will gaslight usually. Um, but that, when I say close, it's usually to their children or their spouses. That's where they keep this kind of behavior. Um, but narcissists think it is funny when they are able to hurt you. They think it is funny when they see you in pain. They actually get a kick out of seeing you in pain. So that is why narcissists gaslight you and, 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 you know, taking this into the context of that they are actually waging a war on reality. Um, and if you start to doubt your reality, you know, you, you can be, you can be told pretty much everything at that point and you will believe it. So that is why gaslighting is so effective. But where the narcissist gets these thoughts from, that's a different question because it's not really normal at all to have these thoughts and they are very um, meticulous in their approach. Like I said, they are able to try and fail. They're able to just go a little bit more to the left or a little bit more to the right and you know, there they got you, right there. That's the sweet spots. That, that, that's where they are able to hurt you. And they are able to maneuver themselves in this way, basically like a snake. Um, and they're able to just strike you exactly where you don't have any clothes or where your skin is, is uh, exposed. And this is not done just in a day. They are, like I said, that's why narcissists are constantly trying to get information about you so they know as much as they need to know about you. And when they know all these things, they can put this up and they can, uh, they can, they can make this recipe to try, and try to see if this will hurt you or if that will hurt you. It's, it becomes almost like a game to them. Like it's fun, it's entertainment. And like I said, it speaks of their emptiness. It speaks of how empty these people are. And, and it's a really, really dangerous situation to, to be in. And you should always be aware when people want to make you doubt yourself and make you doubt your reality. Um, and usually a lot of narcissists will pretend that they have your best um, intentions when they do this as well. Um, they will try to pretend that they will help you with something. Um, while they are doing this, they are putting this form of abuse, gaslighting into play. So they might do this when you are really vulnerable, when you really don't expect it at all. And, and, um, yeah, I guess I will leave it at that in this video. Um, so I hope this was helpful. And thank you for listening in and have a good day.